Hey guys, it's me, Dog Lightning. Um, I'm showing you guys here my Ivern. I'm gonna be um, going over right now the runes, builds, and how I play him playstyle. But if you don't already subscribe to the channel, check out my Twitch. I do these off metas on Mondays, Metalist Mondays, where I play Ivern support and some Anivia, Zoe, Talia support. So if you want to check that out, come see me. But anyways, um, runes, I go Guardian with Biscuits. The Biscuits is really important. Um, Ivern is really, really weak early game. Before 6, you're basically just playing as a shield bot. So you have Biscuits. If you didn't know, Biscuits gives you mana back based on your missing mana pool by 10%. So you don't want to use it unless you're completely oom. Um, you basically are just using your shield to deny damage on your ADC and make it so that your ADC can farm so you can scale to level 6. Um, literally, I'm not kidding, you'll see me shielding auto attacks in general just from the enemy ADC to make sure it doesn't take damage. Um, you can take other room swap in and out as you want, but the main thing is I would say biscuits are mandatory and I like Guardian to be safe. Um, I do E max into Q max into W max standard stuff for the build You'll notice that I don't go staff of water flowing water or Arden sensor um, I like to go boots of mobility when I play Ivern in this game I win um, boots of swiftness because I'm facing an Ash who has slows and a, a Maokai E saplings have slows, but usually I go boots of mobility and I don't get the CDR boots And I find I'm missing that CDR needed to have the shield on a low cooldown So I go redemption so it gives 15 extra ability power and uh, haste and it's really useful But um, other than that, I hope you guys like this and um, like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy, guys. I'll start with Nico. Nico and he heck five played into Dragon Steel way back when I took on season nine. Then I eventually found your stream. I see. So it's all because of Nico and Pog. That overlay though, thank you. Yeah, I like this one. Ivern's one of my favorite ones for the overlay. Yeah, I think Relic Shield's so good on this champ because I don't want to have to be forced to trade with the enemy. I can just sit back and farm with my minion thingies. I think I might put two points in. Mm, actually, I get so much damage from my W. That's unlucky timing, but we didn't have to blow any flashes at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
I love playing Ivern. This champ's so fun. They always try to play so aggro bot every time I play this champion. Ash died to you. That was funny. Ivory main? Dude, I really like Ivory now, like, honestly. coming for the camps well guess what how did that work for you because you lost Don't play Iron Set Day support? Yeah, don't play it. You have two buff Iron. Someone said you can have two buffs not on Iron. Oh, the two buffs go to Iron and someone else can have two buffs. Yeah, you the, the two buff thingy always one goes to Iron no matter what. It never goes like one goes to Iron no matter what. So I can't like if what you're asking is if I can gift one to the mid lane so that we can get two. That'd be like if they made that change to Iron where the buffs could go to any two players, that would legit make Ivern a really good support, I think. Because being able to get blue, double blue, and double red for people that aren't me would be super good. If you didn't know, shields stop back backs from being canceled. To be honest, this just gives Maokai freaking sapling brush, but oh well. Maokai took damage from it though by walking under tower at the same time. The double tree bot lane. I wonder what the ducks are plotting today. They're like, wait, Samir's not supposed to be dashed into auto attack range off of freaking CC anymore. That was nerfed unless it's a knockup. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> it's just an Iverd, that's why.
Wait, why did the freaking shield go onto me there? Oh well. Mao, Ivern lane with a Rengar jungle? Hell yeah. Dude, I love playing freaking Ivern support. I don't know. I have so much fun. Like, when you're playing Nico, you're always so stressed because you have to be doing proactive things, roaming and doing stuff. And as Ivern, you just sit back, throw shields on your carries, and just watch the enemy team lose. <laughs> also, what do you want for your custom command, boss? Ivern support is so chill, honestly. Like, you literally just sit back and just watch the enemy team lose. No idea? That's the problem? That does sound like a problem. I need to save this proc for the next wave because there's a cannon. We send three mid, but we just take bot tower, so whatever. Okay, Samira, yeah. Relic and Guardian plus Biscuits. How you lane phase? Yeah, that's how. Relic shield plus Biscuits, and you just spam shields. Try to deny it. Like, every time they even go for a single auto attack on your ADC, you just shield it. Just make sure your ADC takes no damage by spamming shields on her, which is why I need the Biscuits, so I can have the mana regen for the early game. Only pop your Biscuits if you're completely oom. And you just spam shields on your ADC to make sure they don't take damage. See how she took no damage there? If your C doesn't take damage, and then eventually they just like overcommit onto something. Never engage on the enemy. Like you just sit there and wait. Just know that you scale for late game. Look at them cower from Daisy in a freaking 3v2. Because it's actually a 3v3. Is Relic better than Spell Thieves? Yes, because again, you're not looking to play aggressive at all on this pick. You're just looking to AFK let your ADC farm. And Relic Shield, you won't be able to proc your Spell Thieves because you're going to be, um... You're not going to be able to get any... Like, you're not a good poking support. You're not like Jana who can spam W and sp stack your Spell Thieves. You won't get any stacks on your Spell Thieves because you're not looking to ever play aggressive. You're just looking to AFK shield your ADC early. So yeah, you don't want to go Spell Thieves or you'll just never upgrade it. Thank you for the follow, Singros and Abobos. So that they made Ivar perma range such a quality buff for him. Yup. It's reassuring how Cabrera is to dodge the E? Yeah, but well, there's no point saying that to her.
If you're comparing Zoe, is this 2017? Honestly. By this point, everyone should know how to play versus Zoe. You shouldn't be complaining about that champ. You get bonus damage from this, an extra... Has and power autos work for towers? Um, yep, they work. Surprised that that guy didn't just jump on me there. Champ? Nope, the empowered autos, you get empowered bottles when you're in bushes still, so. Did you just shush him? Yeah, because I don't want him to let people know that it's OP. <laughs> He's giving away my secrets. Daisy versus Daisy! It's a Daisy Royale fight to the Uwu. My Uwu won. I'll get this boo buff when I walk back from base so it lasts longer. What does Daisy do? I don't know his ult. Um, Daisy, you can control it by- if I click R, Daisy will go to wherever I click R and attack wherever I click R on. And every third auto attack on the same target, Daisy does a knock-up that AoE knocks up people around. And you can put your shield on Daisy too. And your shield does AoE, um, does, um, an AoE, like, damage when it blows up. So you can put your shield on Daisy and walk Daisy in range to just do, like, an AoE slow on a bunch of people too. There's lots of stuff you can do with Daisy. Daisy's cool, champ. Two Iron supports the same game. I hacks call hacks. It's only one. The other one's Mao. I feel like the Ivern buffs always expel right when I get there. What do you mean? He got go giga buffed like two patches ago. They did one nerf to him last patch to revert. But... How are you today? I'm doing good. Make Daisy her own champ. Hell yeah.
Oh, I exhausted the wrong target. Ivan needs a pool party skin so Daisy can be a giant rubber ducky. That would dodge be super cute. That'd be really cute, actually. For sure. This game, I probably should have went McHale's, actually, instead of Redemption. Now I think about it, Charm and Al Ashalt. Oh, well. How does this give 15 ability haste when none of the components give ability haste? Riot said they don't like giving stats to items if their components don't have it. The components has no ability haste, and this thing gives 15. I need a guardian skin so Daisy can be something. So Daisy can be something indeed. <laughs> this Pantheon's crying to report their bot lane for holding game hostage and not surrendering, but not surrendering isn't reportable. But asking for to report people is. Staff here, Pog? Yes. Banshee's been coming for a little while now. Maybe like close to a month now. Any asking for reports are reportable? I'm pretty sure. Someone told me that a couple of times, so. I'm pretty sure it's reportable. That ward can't see past this bush. <laughs> nice ward, buddy. <laughs> You have sweeper? Why use sweeper when I can just put bushes around the ward? <laughs> Vision score? But that's so much funnier. Did you see my whole team pinging it? Do both? No, that was so funny. I like it. Man, I kind of just want to play another game of Ivor, and I don't know, man. This champ is just relaxing. I'm playing another game. Considering the season starts tomorrow and I won't be playing this champ for a while, I'm playing another game of Ivor. <laughs> 